today we have a particularly exciting story as well as a particularly exciting recipe for you. You know, whenever we talk about aphrodisiacs, people are always like, they're going to eat something and it's going to make them into Boom. amazing lovers. Yeah. According to the Kama Sutra, it's not what you eat, uh -huh. it's how you eat it. There are a lot of stories about how Casanova would have something like two dozen oysters a day and oysters were supposed to be the thing, the secret behind his sexiness. It wasn't that at all. It was how he ate them. And he used to have this thing called an oyster game. So in the oyster game, he would offer it first to the woman that he was with and then he would ask her to hold it in her lips. And then he would take it from her with his mouth. Okay. He has this entry in his private diary where the oyster game goes just a little bit further. It's a super sexy story. So it's 1771. They're in Rome. He's with two women that he's just met, Emilia and Armelina. He's got champagne and oysters in front of him. And he says that he picks up that first oyster and he puts it into Emilia's mouth. But by mistake, she drops it down her dress. Mm -hmm. And as she drops it down her dress, she's a bit irritated. So she reaches for it and he says, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. This oyster belongs to me as I was going to come and get it. It says, I unlaced her clothes and then I recovered it with my mouth from the depths to which it had dropped. Because that was part yeah. of the game, that yeah. he had to take it from yeah. his mouth, yeah. right? No. So he says that, and I made a point of uncovering her bosom completely, but I retrieved the oyster in such a way that I did not touch her at all. And neither did I give her any sign of having felt any pleasure, except that I had wow. managed to get my oyster. Now that is some skill. That is some skill. <laughs> and he says it's actually one of the best lovemaking nights that he's ever had. So, you know, just this raising of anticipation because the less you touch somebody, the more the excitement. Yeah. Yeah. And so he does exactly the same thing with the other girl, but he does it deliberately where he's pretending to feed it to her, drops it down her bosom, <laughs> undoes her clothes, does all of that. I'm not going to read you the rest of this because <laughs> this is a family show. But but what I wanted to say was that it's never about what you eat, it's about how you eat it. We are going to show you how to make mushrooms instead of oysters because oysters are not always easy to find and some people are vegetarian. Yeah. And so we're actually supplanting them with mushrooms and Radhika has one of the most exciting recipes to offer to you today. Mushrooms are such a rich source of umami. Umami. So umami is that quite intense, meaty, deep flavor. And the darker the mushroom, the more umami they have. Ah, okay. So, so Casanova, we've got some Cheers. mushrooms for you today. <laughs> okay, so I have this recipe. There are two steps to it. We will first prepare a little marinade. For the marinade, I've got some balsamic vinegar, garlic, so cumin powder, paprika, salt, pepper, olive oil, lemon juice. So this is a like a nice thickish marinade. Spoon it on Casanova's mushroom. Take a brush and put it on top. So we can then just put, put it aside 50, 20 minutes, half an hour. Now I'm going to pan fry the marinated mushrooms. So just heat some oil in a pan and then we can top it up with another layer of flavors. For the chimichurri, I have got loads of parsley coriander, a red onion chopped, avocado, lemon juice, olive oil, chilies because you know I love chilies. <laughs> this is oomph, punch, everything together. It smells amazing. So now these are the pan fried marinated mushrooms and we're going to finish it off the grand finale and I'm just going to top it with the chimichurri okay. salsa. It's, it's just quite fresh, zesty, energizing, tasty. Ooh. So here you are, ready to eat. Now, do you want to eat it the Casanova way? Or... <laughs> I have to tell you mm -hmm. that if anybody decides to push stuff down my dress, uh -huh. they will not be having sex after that again. Okay? Table, please. <laughs> 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 so 